Okay, um, hello guys. Thanks for watching the previous video. And today we're going to talk about filters. I know that this is a broad topic, topic. Um, but we're just going to concentrate on IIR filters and what can Audio Weaver uh, provide uh, for your audio needs. So to uh, talk about it, I am connected to, to a Danville Snowbird. Uh, and it's running right now uh, and I'm gonna minimize this for the meantime show up show the canvas okay so this snowbird has one input and two outputs um, when you want to test an idea for a filter or to see if what you're controlling is correct what you're drawing is correct uh, we can run it in the hardware but at the same time we can test ideas outside of what you hear okay so what i'm gonna do here is i'm just gonna tie off the inputs and the output so that you won't hear anything but we can conceptually test um, what the filter word will do so to do that i'm gonna type sync i am gonna drag this sync display tie it off to the input so pretty much whatever goes into that XLR, it just goes to nowhere. And for the outputs, so you won't hear anything, I'm gonna tie in a zero source. So basically I'm pushing nothing to the, out, to the outside world. So let's see if I can build that. Aha, okay, cool. Now let's talk about IIR filters. So. There's two kinds of filters, and we're going to talk about of I, uh, I, two kinds of IR filters available. One is you ask Audio Weaver to compute for you, and the other one is you provided the numbers for that filter. So let's talk about uh, in the previous video I talked about second order filters. So S O F second order filters. So second order filter precise. I'm going to drag this drag this here. Okay, what can we do with this? Right now it's in bypass and we can employ any of these filters. And for for this um, discussion, we're gonna talk about all about low pass filters. So I'm gonna select butter first LPF. And I'm gonna say I wanna low pass around a thousand Hertz. Gonna close that inspector. To test this idea, I'm going to put in the meter, connect that, and I'm going to excite it or push a signal called a sine wave. I'm going to start that with 400 hertz, connect this guy, build. And what we can do here is that, okay, what this simple test is doing is that uh, I'm injected from, f injecting 400 hertz here, going through my filter and seeing what's, ha what's happening here. So as we expect, as we go up in frequency, 800 hertz is still fine. But as soon as we cross the corner frequency here, so let's say, let's cross it around 1500, we expect some attenuation here okay so as I go up 3,000 still going down 5,000 keeps on going down so that filter is running it's good okay so I want to compare that to another kind of filter that's available available here there's Butterworth let's try this Butterworth filter precise And I'm just connect. I'm just connect the same source to the same sine wave. Oops. And connect this guy. And sounds like that's in the same line. For for those who are critical about <laughs> the lines, uh, I'm gonna put this meter side by side. Um. What can we tweak here? Properties. Ooh. 
I'm going to drag this temporarily down. Uh, arguments. Oh, we can change the order. Fine. I'm going to take, change it to fourth order. And then to compare it to apples to apples, corner frequency a thousand. Okay, let's run this again. Same guy at 400. Okay, so 400 hertz going here, 400 hertz going there, and this is what's happening at its output. Um, a little bit, a small difference in the uh, levels there. Let's see what happens if I go 1500. That's way above the um, corner frequency. We can see here one is at that level and one is more aggressive. This one is more aggressive. Okay, so and we know if you change the order here, the characteristics of that signal uh, after the corner frequency will change again. So those are, you know, you can people can explore whatever is available in Audio Weaver at that, this point. I want to talk about what if you want to plug in your own uh, IIR numbers so to do that is we have to drag what is called a bike quad bike quad I'm gonna try this bike quad smooth okay I'm gonna drag that there okay so this one you can put in your five numbers same experiment here Okay, and I'm going to do this there. Let's build it. Okay, let's start with 500 hertz. So everybody there, let's cross over to 1500. Oh, I forgot something. Yes, I forgot something. <laughs> okay, I forgot this thing because this filter right here doesn't have coefficients yet if you notice here let me show you this better the five numbers haven't been plugged in so I forgot about that sorry uh, in my set of files here I already calculated a bunch of numbers in this file so to use um, so if you want to make your own IIR filter and plug in the numbers, drag one of these by quads. And if these are your numbers right here, and this corresponds to B0, B1, B2, A1, A2. Okay, I'm going to delete that because it won't be happy. Okay, so it has to be comma delimited separated by commas and it has to be a text file so if I uh, I'm gonna minimize this one shake load from file I'm gonna browse for that this is this file I'm gonna open it import and and that looks about the same numbers I plugged in okay uh, this one has the exponent Audio Weaver just auto auto formatted it. Okay. Okay, cool. Run this guy. So let's go back to 500. Everybody's good over there. 1500. So this third one is doing the low pass filtering. It's um. This one is, the second one is, in meter two, is more aggressive than the third one. So that might just be a parameter on this particular module. Okay, cool. Now, uh, I think the last thing I want to demonstrate is what if, what if you want um, two cascaded IIR fil filters and you want to put, um, your own numbers so I want to drag this by 
quad cascade precise. Let's do that. Make another meter here. What's the what's the properties here? I have to say I have it it defaults to one stage. So but if what I, I want to demonstrate is what if it's two stages and if you, you see in this coefficients there will be two columns of numbers. Okay. So uh, let me show you my pre calculated filter. So for Audio Beaver to uh, accept your numbers, it has to be in this format. This is your first stage filter, the second stage filter B0, B1, B2, A1, A2. The last number should not have that comma. Okay? So I'm going to load that file from file. Let's see what we got here. Cascaded here. Import. Yes. If I show you that file again, it's auto it auto formatted. Um, yep, that's those are the right numbers. And so let's give that a go. I'm gonna show the fourth meter side by side here. Oh, this one's a little bit high. Ooh. okay let's see what we got so uh, as a reminder all these filters are are low pass filters so if you go uh, below the corner frequency everybody's almost the same and we cross a thousand hertz which are the corner frequency of all of these you can see my last one is the most aggressive one it attenuates the furthest so in this video we just we tested a couple of things one is the second order filter uh, one is the low pass butterworth filter where you can change the the order of the filter uh, though the first two these two are uh, you ask audio weaver to calculate the numbers for you and the last two is uh, we want we demonstrated how to use a single single by quad where you plug in your numbers and this one's a cascaded one where uh, it's a two-stage cascade IIR filter where you get to plug in your numbers so thanks again for uh, watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, uh, kindly uh, visit our website at danvillesignal.com and you will find a form there called Talk to Us. So thanks again.